Okay, so in this video, we're looking at Mr. Johnson's house. Mr. Johnson wants to know how much it's going to cost to build the block walls for his house. His house is about 1,950 square foot. And it includes a one a master bedroom, two kids room, so three bedrooms, one bathroom, a powder room, office, kitchen, living and dining. It has this hallway here. Mr. Johnson plan to go upstairs. So this is a water fountain that him put here, but in the future, I'm gonna build a staircase right here. So the original challenge. How much does it cost to build a block wall for Mr. Johnson's house? So in order to calculate that, we need to know what is the gross wall area. So the gross wall area would be the total length of the wall times multiplied by the height. So the total length of the wall multiplied by the height would give you the gross wall area in square foot. But we want it in square yard. So when we finish doing that calculation, divide it by nine to get 438 square yard worth of block work, gross wall area. So we want to know how much it would cost to do this much. So we need a rate. So we'd go and check in the blue book. According to the blue book, Master Builders cost book, block work to lay six inch block, all pockets fill for the ground floor, it would cost 100 and $1,162. A square yard but for the purposes of this video we're just going to run it off to 1200 so the number is easier to manage okay so we're going to use the 1200 so 1200 multiplied by the 438 would give you 525,600 So, this is the gross wall here, but there's a lot of stuff that needs to be taken out of this number. The windows, the do doors and walkway, the beams and lintel, and the stiffness and columns. So, these are the windows here. These windows, the openings in the wall need to be deducted. So, for you do that now, you go through and you count all the windows. So, you have 13 windows on this house. So... You have window starting from window one, window two, window three, window four, all the way to 13. So you list all of them, you put the length, the height of the window, you multiply, you get how much square foot it is. You add up everything, you get 180 square foot. But you want it in square yards. You divide the 180 by nine and you get 20. So you get 20 square yard. The same rate, 1,200. One, one, one so that would give you $24,000. So the next thing you want to deduct is the doors and walkways. So same thing, same business. You go and you find all the doors and all the do and all the walkways so in this one we have 14 doors and one two three walkways just openings in the wall to allow people to move from one room to the next so you list all the doors and the walkways the length times the height out of everything give you how much square foot we want to know how much square yard so it you divide by 9, you get 52.89. Just roll it off to 53. So, 53 square yard multiplied by the 1,200 give you $63,600. The 
the next thing you want to do is deduct the beams and the lintels so what are beams and lintels so on this house you have a belt beam that run on top of all the walls so on top, on top of all of the walls you have a beam that connect the wall to the roof so this beam here you're going to take out that and you're going to take out the lintel the lintel is a small beam that is above all the doors and the windows so picture this is the wall here this is the roof this is the door this is the window and the beam is going to be right above the windows and the doors to support the black work above so when you do the mats on that you get 54 square yard worth of lintels and beams when you multiply that you get 64,800 for that so the last thing we're going to look at now is the we're going to deduct is the stiffener and column so we're going to go through the drawing and these are the stiffeners you have the L stiffener the I stiffener and the T stiffener so you, you go through and you count them off you count off all of them so you, 3 I stiffener, 14 L stiffener, and 12 T stiffener. So, you go ahead and you get the length times the height, add up everything, get it in square feet, divide by 9 to get it in square yard. 52 square yard. So, the 52 square yard multiply by the 1200 give you 62400 so you add up all of this you get 214800 you subtract this figure from that figure you get 310800 so this is how much it costs for the block work for Mr. Johnson's house.